Hello, and welcome to a demonstration showcasing Endgame's early stage detection and hunt capabilities. Today we are testing the Endgame platform against sophisticated malware targeting the financial sector. A recent post from Symantec detailed a series of campaigns targeting the financial sector in 2016, and we wanted to see how Endgame fares against the malware family. If you follow our other videos, you will recognize this homepage listing the active sensors within our environment. In this lab, we have 23 endpoints monitored with Endgame. I deployed the malware to one of these endpoints and executed the malicious dropper. In fact, you can already see the presence of Endgame detection alerts on the top right of the screen. As we inspect these two alerts, we can see that our proprietary signature list detection capability, called the malware score, immediately alerted on the presence of this malicious dropper, scoring it a 99 out of 100. And additionally, there was a second alert, which detected the payload. The previously mentioned dropper, like it sounds, drops or installs the malware to the system. And we can see that this file was installed in the app data directory, which generated the alert. The Endgame platform will provide forensic snapshots at the time of an alert as well. For instance, here is a process snapshot, which shows a running process tree at the time of the alert. These alerts inform us of malicious activity, and you can take immediate action on this file by either retrieving it, deleting it, or you can even spawn subsequent investigations. Keep in mind, you don't have to wait for a user to take action you can configure Endgame to protect your environment, and these files would have already been deleted. But we are only operating in detect mode. This way, we can step through our automated hunts in the demo. So to begin our hunts, you may recall from our How to Hunt series that a prime location of search for suspicious activity is within persistent file locations and running processes. We created an investigation, or a survey, at each endpoint to examine any persistent files or running processes. Now let's examine our results. One of the first things the dropper does is persist itself as a run key in the registry. This run key is highly suspicious for many reasons, which are identified by our hunt analytics. The first analytic presented to the user is the malware score again, which rather than our earlier detection, here we use the malware score to examine each persistent file. This file obviously exceeded our threshold of malicious behavior. As we examine a second analytic, the file is also persisting within the user's app data folder. And persistent files in uncommon locations can be anomalous or, in this case, suspicious. A third analytic looks at the signer information of the binary. And in this case, the file wasn't signed, which is also anomalous. And finally, there was a file name mismatch, a difference between the file name on disk and the file name from Microsoft's version info, which is also anomalous. Just from examining a few analytics from our persistent survey, you should be convinced that this file is bad. But since the malware is currently running, we can also view a process survey where similar analytics are run. Again, beginning with the malware score, we can see that this file is suspicious. Also, we flagged on the suspicious path again. And the signer information is also anomalous. But now, I'll show you a new and powerful feature. We're able to examine the memory of each running process to look for in-memory stealth techniques like process injection. It catches all known techniques for injection across monitored endpoints in seconds. Here, the attacker tried to evade detection by using such file list techniques. Endgame examined the memory footprint of the system and alerted on the malicious behavior. In this case, we detected the memory being modified at a specific address. At this point, you would definitely want to take action and remediate this malware. But if you wanted to examine further, you can extract the strings from memory. Simply click this icon to download the strings. And now we will go to the endpoint and view the results. And here we can download the raw data. 
And here are the strings presented in a JSON file. And you can already see some of the command and control information that you may want to inspect. And that concludes the demo. Endgame's layered detection technology identifies sophisticated threats with ease and with no prior knowledge using signatures. By focusing on suspicious behaviors, including in-memory stealth techniques, detection and prevention can reliably take place earlier. This early detection is essential to prevent advanced adversaries from achieving their objectives and in turn prevents damage in your environment. Thank you for joining us.